Is this Mr. Herrig? Yes. Mr. Herrig, I am a social worker from the VA. How are you? Okay. Hey, do you got just a couple minutes to talk? Sure. All right. Hey, so I'm Dan, like I said, um, and I'm calling for a couple of reasons. The first one, and probably the most important, is a request. And then second to that, after I ask you, we can discuss what we're going to do moving forward, okay? So the first question is we have a ton of staff who are just really, really scared right now because of your posting of videos. And we're having some really weird events occur to our staff as a result of that. Now, I, I can't prove that they're connected to it, but it would really mean a lot if you would take those down because our staff are really, really, really worried. Are you there, sir? Yes. Is this something that sounds reasonable to you? No, not really. Well, what's your end game, Mr. Herrig? To change the system? This is not a very effective way to do it. How is that? Going to your senator or a VJO, that is a, a more appropriate way to try and get change. Post no, it's not. Because I've already done that. If you watch the videos, you would know that. So our staff are scared. Okay. If your beef is with the VA, it should be with the VA, not people who work at the VA. That makes no sense to me. Well, when I do a chart review, Mr. Herrig, I see a lot of resources that have been poured into your case, and that is a good thing. You're eligible for care, and you're receiving it. Um, but people no, are really going really. above and beyond to try and meet you where you're at. No, they're not really. That's why I've been complaining. Again, as I go through the chart, it looks like a lot of resources have been put into your case. And my request is that you take those videos down as a human being, right? I, I don't think you intend to be psychologically traumatizing our staff. They are doing the same thing to me. Do two wrongs make a right? How am I being wrong? What am I doing to them personally? They have asked you not to take their video, their image, and they've asked you not to post it. Well, it's public information. So what am I doing that's wrong? I, as a human being, if another human being asked me not to post their image, I wouldn't do it. Nobody asked me not to uh, post their image except for Heidi, and I never have. Okay. Well, our staff has said that they've asked you, and I'm asking you now. Yeah, Heidi asked me, and I told her I never have posted her image. But as I'm looking at your videos, I see lots of staff members' images. And so I'm asking you mm -hmm. to consider their well-being and remove it. What would their image being removed have anything to do with it? Because their image, their name, phone numbers, email, it's all public record. Anybody it's can get it. It's, it's, it, it, and many times it's public record. You're right. What they're asking and what I'm asking you is that this practice that you are engaged in is causing some emotional turmoil and distress from the very people who are trying to work with you. And so when that feeling you, start, it doesn't stop my First Amendment. I have a right to redress my government. 
And that's what I'm doing. No, you are targeting our staff members who are simply trying to give you care. How am I targeting them? By taking their image and posting it and broadcasting it on a YouTube channel. So your government facilities and systems and internet, all those web pages with their name and numbers and photos, those are targeting them too? The way that you're doing it, right? I, I understand if you have a grievance against the VA, right? I don't think your grievance is against our staff. Yes, it is. Oh, okay, well, I guess I was wrong there. <laughs> Well, what I can tell you is that they are bending over backwards to try and meet you where you're at, and your right. response is posting them online, right. and that is very distressing to them. Because we have an opposite opinion of what their help, you know, what constitutes as help. So now that you know that our staff are in emotional distress, mm -hmm. does that change your mind? It didn't change theirs. They are simply operating within a system. Exactly. That's why I'm broadcasting it out there so people will know and can change it. If they don't know it's wrong, then they won't know to fix it. Mr. Herrig. Yes. Our staff are very distressed by this behavior. And I was very distressed about their behavior. So are you telling me that you will not remove our staff from your YouTube? No, it's, that's my First Amendment right. Okay. So also, as I've been going through your chart for our committee, um, it seems like there's lots of triangulation and fragmented care. So what the research tells us is fragmented care is not good care. And so we had a meeting today and moving forward, we're going to assign you a single point of contact with the goal being that your care is more comprehensive. And then we're going to put a referral in for a new program that's being developed. It's a few months out yet, but it's being developed for veterans who have complex needs uh, so that you have access to care in a more meaningful way. We're still building that, and it's not operating yet, and so this is just a short-term solution. Uh, that point of contact is going to be me, okay? Um, do you have any questions with that? A whole bunch. What, okay. I mean, what is this going to change? What okay. do I have to do? Yeah, so if you have a grievance, if you are upset about something, I'm the person you can reach out to. Okay. Okay, and what else is it going to change? Well, hopefully it's going to give our staff a little bit of relief. No, I mean, like, what is it going to change? Like, what's, what's going to be different now? Yeah, um, simply that I'm in your life and I am a person that you can come to if you have a complaint or a concern. Right, that didn't answer my question. What, what's going to be different from now on? I just described it. Well, be more detailed or something, because that's not answering my question. Uh, maybe I should ask it differently or something. Like, yeah. who... Because right now, I'm talking to Pain Telehealth, I'm talking to Dr. Al, uh, Aarons, I'm talking to Dr. Bell, I'm talking to Dr. Um, uh, Farrell, I'm talking to Monty, I'm talking to Care in the Community, I'm talking to Whole Health, I'm talking to BTS, I'm talking to DAV, I'm talking to the Ride Bus, I'm talking to the Acupuncturist, I'm talking to the Massage Therapist, I'm talking to... So, you said there's only going to be one point of contact, which would be you. So, are you going to be doing the calling around and scheduling and doing all that stuff, or... I mean, I, I can assist. Uh, the main thing here, my role here is support of staff. So staff are distressed. And so if you have a complaint, say, with massage therapy or care in the community, instead of calling them up and voicing your grievance to them, I will be that ear. Okay, and then what will you do? Well, 
I might advocate for a more comprehensive support, right? Uh, my, my role in here is to support our staff members. So I'll look at what is being done for you and I will substantiate whether or not the complaint is legitimate based off of what our criteria are. And if something is happening where there's a gap, my hope would be to resolve that gap. Okay. Well, I guess I'm, my first complaint would be with the VTS. Okay. And he told me to call in and check for their availability for rides. And they just kind of gave me a blanket statement. They didn't give me dates or times or... They just said Monday or Mondays won't work. Any other time, it has to be between 9 and 1 o'clock, which it okay. used to be 9 and 2. So I have no new information, but that's supposed to be the solution. Okay. What I would recommend doing, in all honesty, is I know you have lots of appointments and lots of needs, is scheduling far in advance so that VTS can meet your need. Do I have to catch you up on that? What, what's been going on, or do you know, or...? Yeah, I've, I've, I've listened to all the videos, so I'm pretty pretty up to date on what all has been going on. Right. That didn't work for me, what you just suggested. And I don't understand why it wouldn't. Uh, you'd have to ask VTS and DAV why, why it's not going to work. Okay. Because I've done what they told me to do, and it didn't work. Okay. So again... Mr. Herrick, I, I would say call VTS or DAV. Say, I've got appointments coming up in the next three months. No, I see, drive no. On these see that's, that's the opposite of what I've been told to do. Okay, well, bring me up to speed then. Am I, am I missing something? Yep, like I just said, Heidi told me to call DAV and VTS and see what they have available first, and then schedule my appointments to their availability. That works too. It's it's but essentially I the did same that, strategy. Like I said, I just did that today, and they're like, "Well, we just can't do Mondays, and it has to be between nine and one." I already oh. knew that. Okay. So that's not going to be. I mean, that wasn't helpful. It didn't solve anything. Well, now what you can do is schedule your appointments within that time frame. And when I do, then they can cancel on me. Well, see, if they cancel on you, that's when you can call me, and I can get to the bottom of something. Okay. I'll see if it works, but I yeah. haven't had much hope in the past. Yeah, I, I, mean, I think it'll work. I've been complaining about this for over a year. Mm -hmm. so. And they just yeah. keep telling me to do the same thing, and nothing gets fixed. Yeah. Well, I, I think that this strategy will work. I think it's a pretty good strategy. I don't think it's a very good strategy. It didn't work today. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. It's like you guys plan all this stuff on paper, but then when it comes to like actually practically using it in real life, it doesn't work. So certainly things change. Certainly I, I don't know what went on with VTS. Um, but ideally, if they canceled on you, we should set something else up. And right? Well, that, so that's... I thought you watched the videos. Did you or... Yeah. Okay, well, like they were saying in the team meeting, if I set it up with VTS and they canceled and... Uh, DAV is supposed to write, or give me a ride. Mm -hmm. So I call DAV. DAV has the same issue. They can't pick me up on Mondays and Wednesdays. Well, I've already scheduled in advance, like you told me to, for other appointments. So my Tuesdays and Thursdays are completely full. So the only other option I had was Fridays. Fridays for massage therapy can only be after 2 p.m. Because that's the only time she has available. So the whole entire month, there is no availability for me to get a massage. Okay. And I'm just supposed to live with it. 
That's just the way it is. So I'm supposed to live with not getting treatment. So my recommendation would be to get an Uber or a Lyft. Which is going to cost me a hundred bucks. And I don't get that in return. I, I believe you'd be eligible for reimbursement. I won't get the whole reimbursement. I'll end no. up paying out of pocket for it. Yep, me and Heidi already talked about that. Okay. It was also on a YouTube video, but I guess... I don't know. You say you've listened to them, but... Oh, well, yeah, like 30 up there, man. I, I didn't listen to all 30. I listened to one that was like two hours long. I listened to one that was like 18 oh, minutes. Oh, well, then you didn't listen to them all. Okay. Gotcha. Well, obviously, I'm not going to spend, what, like 30 hours you got on here? <laughs> well, then I don't say the... that. Don't. I have social pragmatic communication disorder. So when you say I've watched the videos, I'm thinking you've watched the videos. You've watched them all. That is a really rare diagnosis. I don't think I've actually ever worked with someone that had that diagnosis. It's that rare. Yeah, I don't know. Hmm. It causes okay. a lot of problems and nobody seems to care about it. Okay. Have you worked with anyone in our mental health clinics? Yes. And then okay. they sent me out into the community because supposedly I outgrew their treatment. Oh. Well, I mean, with a rare diagnosis that you just described, I'm, I'm, I'm not surprised, to be honest. So, yeah. I mean, that would require a specialist. Yeah. So far, I haven't really gotten much. We've just been working, trying to get this veteran... Uh, VA thing taken care of because yeah. it's, it's causing me so much stress and mental anguish that that's all we've been really working on we haven't been working on PTSD or the past or anything else so I hope this strategy works. Um, the next steps, you know, obviously, like I said, if you have a complaint, feel free to call me. Um, we do have a committee that reviews all of these types of events, um, and the committee has authorized the use of what we call a flag. So basically to help our staff understand that this is a unique situation, we put a flag on the chart that simply says, you know, problem, you know, veteran has a unique you know, pragmatic, I forgot what you called it, but it's incredibly rare. So it's a, an internal communication that says, hey, here's a problem and here's our plan. So okay. we'll probably say something to the effect of, if a veteran is angry, direct him to his social worker, Dan. Okay. All right? Yeah. Um, I do want you to consider, and I will call you back, oh. um, because I think, you know, you're a good person. I want you to consider over the weekend the emotional distress of our staff and consider taking those down. Yeah, I'll think about it. Okay, I would appreciate that, man. Uh, final piece is this is my cell phone, so okay. you call this number, you're going to get me directly. Right. Um, so you don't have to go through, you know, dial nine, dial two, you know, that whole that whole thing. Um, I do try to get callbacks within 24 hours. Um, obviously, life happens, but I'm usually pretty attentive to this phone, so odds are if you call, I'm going to be able to answer it. Okay. Okay. And it was nice to make your acquaintance. I do have one more thing. Are you yeah. involved with social, or not social, um, care in the community? Uh, lightly. So our committee. Yeah. Oh, go ahead. That, that's been kind of a big issue, too. Right now, I think it's squared away, I hope. Mm -hmm. But 
Yeah, it, it's been an issue, so that's why I was wondering. Yeah, I would say moving forward, if you have an issue with them, by all means, let me know. Okay. Um, I operate across all of the silos of the VA, um, okay. so I'm able to kind of, I'm flexible is what I'm getting at. Okay. Okay. All right. All right, man. So you got the number. Yeah. You're going to think about taking them down. Yeah. Body, body, blue. I think we, I think this was a successful call. Okay. Sounds good. All right. You take care, okay? You too. Mm. Yep. Bye-bye.